Hello guys, in this video I'll answer a question by a Roki relating to the uh, inserting details of perfect topology. But real quick guys, if you're looking for what I consider to be the best 3D modeling tutorial on the internet, I recommend checking out my Udemy course. It's got tutorials on Blender, 3ds Max, CAD programs such as Plasticity and Moai 3D, and a lot of ZBrush as well. So if you want to master a variety of programs to really bring your skills up to the next level and master 3ds Max, Blender, ZBrush, and Plasticity, be sure to check out that course, link is in the description. Let's continue. This is relatively easy because the amount of vertices in the surrounding part is similar to the outside of the detailed part. Can you do it again with a sphere with more or less topology and explain how to reduce or increase the poly count around the detailed part so it can be connected naturally? Alright guys, so I've got this detail here. It's a, bit more, a little bit more complex, a little bit more things going on here. So essentially what I would do here is show you how you can both increase and decrease topology. So I've got this object here, which comes from a plane, which is this edge lifted up, and it's turbo smooth. All right, so let's say, one thing to realize, guys, is that when you have a curve here, you know, you can't just insert a complex detail on this. It's just not going to work. You need a certain amount of smoothness and density for this to work. So if you want to insert a very really small object here, then you will have to increase density. It's just unavoidable. Smaller objects, more details require more density. That's just the way polygons work. So I'm going to have uh, two right now, but we can always, uh, you know, increase that if necessary. All right, so let's say we've got this object. So here's what we can do, guys. We go into border level. In fact, let's do so on new apply modifier. And we select this. Activate your statistics. By default, it's seven. You can go into plus, configure viewports, statistics, edge count, show statistics in active view. All right, you can see we've got 12. So let's say we need to increase or decrease that. How do we do that? Well, this will be our base and let's copy this out here. All right, so in order to increase this guys, all we need to do is just, notice how we've got this kind of topology going around there. Well, in order to increase it, we simply, we can cut like this and remove that. And so now instead of 12, we've got 14. Just like that, we've added two more edges. So if that's all we need, guys, we now have two more to work with. If it doesn't fit well, we can do this. All right, now we've got 16. So we can do that for whatever corner we need this to work on to get that extra edge there necessary. You also notice that right here, I've got an end gone. So I did not fix it, but what I can do is do that. That gives me more edges as well so now we've got 17 if necessary so we can go from 16 to 17 just like that all right but we can also simplify things as well so if this is too complex what we can do is for example we can just target weld this here all right so although it's good to avoid angles and triangles in some situations they're not going to hurt too much so one thing to realize, guys, is that if you're dealing with a flat situation, for example, this part is more flat, you can get away with having more triangles and end guns, but if it's curved, it'll be more noticeable. All right, so because we're going to end gun here, we can target well this to that. And we can, of course, do more, more finagling. You know, once we've got it connected, we can have fix it up more. But now, guys, instead of 12, we've only got eight edges. So we reduced 12 to eight. All right, so let me just uh, make this part a little bit more flat by inserting a loop here as well, maybe right here. All right, so if we want to insert something, uh, something small right here, for example, all right, I'm going to go ahead and you know, maybe remove some of these. All right, and so I'm going to link this to that and these as well. So now I will select this and clone that out there. And then since it's flat, guys, I don't need to do any kind of a conforming. I can just do this right here and just, you know, pop that in there. And we do have some wiggle room, guys. We can, of course, move it, you know, right here or right there. So we do have some wiggle room. And so now what I would do is just kind of a uh, Attach that. 
and now we can essentially bridge that then select the border deselect this and bridge and now we can finagle things by just using face constraints and just kind of moving things around to be more even actually we don't need this loop here we can remove that so there we go guys and so if we turbo smooth that we get a, a nice fit right here all right but that is of course easy mode all right so before we do this i think it's a good idea to talk about this because this is just not enough curvature here to properly establish details so we're going to go ahead and Turbo smooth it and apply it to poly on top. All right, I will select this and kind of clone this out. Right, position that right there. So let me see, let me make sure it's properly linked. All right, so I'll position that right there. Get the appropriate size there. All right, so now I will select this object and this one and this. Let's see what we're working with here. So. Here we've got 12 edges and let's see if we can put that in here. So if we do it right here, so we're going to hold down shift and click here to convert the border edges. Looks like here we've got uh, 14 and if we do this, for example, hold shift left click here, we've got 16. So let's go ahead and right, I'm going to just uh, collapse skin wrap real quick and I'm going to go ahead and convert this into 16. All right, and we're going to just cut right there, and we're going to remove that. Right, now we have 16 here as well. Now I'm going to re-skin wrap. All right, and we're going to go into freeform, switch this to drawn surface, pick this as a surface, and then we're going to conform. I'd like to just zoom out and do a single single click conform All right we can just kind of hide that object or the and then we're going to go ahead and collapse that All right, these objects are kind of missing but that's okay but we can always just kind of put them right back into place that's a simple fix all right so we're going to go ahead and select those we're going to go ahead and just kind of use a little bit of moving with face constraints just kind of get them into this kind of position right here a little bit of scaling as well or let's a little, little bit of moving here with edge constraints so we're going to kind of isolate this detail here away from this to prevent the distortion from just going everywhere across here we're going to have kind of a isolated distortion right here all right now it's just as simple as deleting that and attaching this and we're going to select these two and bridge go into border select that deselect these and bridge but notice how we're getting this happening here all right, we're put a modifier. Let's activate face constraints and let's do some fun angling here. And by fun angling, I mean just kind of a massage the topology, just to make sure we don't have any kind of strange quads like this, for example. We don't want those kinds of distorted quads. All right, I'm going to move this a little bit to the left here. Before I do that, I'm going to insert a loop here. So we're kind of isolating the distortion. And we're going to turbo smooth that. As you can see, we've got this kind of fit right here. Notice how we have a little bit, little bit of distortion happening right here. So on you add a plan modifier, let's select this and do a little bit of a set flow. So notice how just doing that set flow it's it's kind of difficult to see but i definitely noticed that after set flow it looks a lot smoother here so set flow can help those kinds of problems a little bit of distortion happening here as well a little bit of set flow or just uh this one for example that looks much better so notice what it looks like before there's a little bit of a shadow right here notice how set flow makes it look much better so select the right edges and use set flow and you will get a very good result. So there you go, guys. That's how you can simplify or make details more complex and fit them in wherever you need them to be. Thank you for watching and take care.